Shalom, shalom, family. Hopefully everyone is doing wonderful today. Just sitting back in the backyard, you know, thinking, um, you know, as I was looking at, you know, a lot of these fr fruit and vegetables that I have planted over the years, you know, um, and it just got me thinking about bearing fruit, you know, especially late in the year, you know, and, um, you know, I've, I've talked about, you know, building a homestead and, and building a community, you know, for a while. And, uh, you know, by various reasons, got distracted, even on my own, you know, maybe I took the resources and done other things, or, you know, or maybe, you know, other people, you had other other ideas, other visions, or, you know, fear or jealousy, what have you, and uh, allowed, allowed, allowed that, uh, that vision that the Most High gave me to be uh, put on the back burner, for, for lack of a better term, you know. But again, I had to realize uh, that a lot of those things that I've been through were just, you know, either to strengthen me, to uh, to give me more wisdom and knowledge, or even say I wasn't ready at the time, you know, but it's all good. But, um, you know, anyway, like I said, I'm sitting back here looking at, you know, the, the, the fresh fruit and vegetables that I have in my garden, and a lot of them come from, uh, not only came from seedlings that I had from the previous year, but some of them came out of the compost that were, that I had put in, you know, some of the scraps from, you know, those fruit and vegetables, you know what I'm saying? And I was able to recognize certain plants because of uh, my grandmother teaching me a lot, you know, uh, when I stayed with my grandmother, you know, and I learned a lot. You know what I'm saying? So in, anyway, so I said all that to say, family, you know, you know, again, you know, the vision, you know, the most high gave me years ago is, you know, to uh, to not only try to build a homestead, but to, you know, help, you know, those, you know, that are like-minded, maybe build a community and have, you know, a lot of people, have those people around you. And again, you know, you, you learn people that certain people are not even built for this, and that's, that's okay. But anyway, family, there's a lot of brothers and sisters that have, have, have done this and stuff like that, and they have been enlightened. They have been a light to me and an encouragement, you know, to me as well. You know, all praise the most high, you know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, I want to do my part, you know what I'm saying? I want to, you know, again, I want to be I want to be able to bear fruit, you know what I'm saying? The most high put us in this captivity, and, and we, even though we're in this captivity, no matter where he plant us or he put us, we support to bear fruit. So looking at all this, you know what I'm saying, we look at the spiritual aspect, but the spiritual aspect has to be manifested in the, in the physical, you know, and um, I think we, we, we overlook that, you know. But like I said, family, you know, uh, you know, you know, hopefully, you know, you know, in the next few weeks, you know, as, as, as my family and I, we begin to downsize and certain things I'm going to share, certain things I'm not going to share because, you know, protect my family as best as possible because again, you know, there's people out there that have malicious intents. Let's be real about it. But, you know, at, at the end of the day, family, like I said, uh, you know, you know, let the, you know, I want to let the most high guide me and, and, and show me which direction I need to go in and where he want me to be at and and hopefully surround myself around people that can can share that same vision and, and, and same goal and that's to, to be self-sufficient and independent from the de facto as much as possible, you know. And it's gonna take a lot of work. It's gonna be some, it's gonna be labor intense, you know, not only, you know, with the garden, but building, you know what I'm saying? You know, uh, I'm, a, I'm a, uh, like the old saying, I'm a, I'm a jack of all trade, but a, mass, but a mass of none, but still is better than a mass of one. So I want to really like, you know, be, uh, I want to be a doer, not a talker. You know, I want, I want to be able to bear fruit, you know, by by my actions. You know, and uh, that's why I talk about, you know, you know, certain topics, you know, it's, it's, especially when it comes down to understanding that the, the Bible is the blueprint. It's, it's, it's the blueprint for this, for this building the nation, it, even dealing with economics. And that's what we need as a people. We need to, you know, we, we, we need to be able to um, build an economic base that, that is going to not only favor us, but, but support us 
you know what I'm saying, by us because, you know, let's be real about it. When it comes down to certain things, well, not certain things, but when it comes down to probably everything, you know, we are the only people that are either uh, scrutinized or, or, or restricted or discriminated against or even just blocked out of, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, it makes it, it makes it even more challenging for us. But, you know, if, if, if we help build one another, we can, we can be able to do commerce because that's what the Bible teaches. The Bible teaches us about commerce as well, you know, and that's what you need to survive, you know what I'm saying? You need, you need to be able to uh, do trade with one another. And we're so busy trying to assimilate into a, into this, this this Western culture or this Western ideology that really uh, don't want us to be a part of it. And that's why the most I want us to be separate, you know, and get ourselves together, you know what I'm saying? But it's sad to say, but many in Israel are not really building, you know, when I say community, I don't mean, you know, like buildings, I mean common unity, you know what I'm saying? a lot for the noise, you know, but, but building common unity, you know what I'm saying, building building relationships, you know what I'm saying, it's it's too much of, well, I'm doing this and I'm doing that, or they doing this and they doing that, and, 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 and you know, in, in, in respect, in retrospect, you know, you know, let's be real, you know, that's, that's, that's the surface of it, but it's still, it's supposed to be collected, we're supposed to all be, still be able to work together. You know, even though every individual have their own gift or every organization have their own gift, but we still have, even having our own gifts, we still, we still are supposed to be able to work together. But anyway, that's, that's not a here or there. But anyway, family, like I say, within the next few weeks, you know, you know, making this transition, downsizing, and then being able to take those resources and redirect them uh, to be able to build on land and and I just feel again not just build on the land but be able to build uh, uh, relationships, be able to build you know a business you know and until until you know we have. Been to eat or you know to the most high send for us till, till he come get us you know what I'm saying but with that being said we still have to be able to survive and and and, and come together you know um, as best as possible on one accord and I know that's difficult for a lot of people because again you know a lot of people just won't put attitudes or, uh, or personalities won't put them back but but we're not even dealing with them. I'm talking about those people. Because again, there's a lot of brothers and sisters that are out there that 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 well they will welcome you with open arms as long as you're not coming with no BS. You know, if you come in for real, there's a lot of brothers and sisters that that that, that will welcome whether it's me or you, you know, and they have you know, they put it out there all the time, you know, and a lot of these brothers especially have, you know, encouraged me for years, you know, to uh you know to, to work on that, that, that homestead lifestyle and, or that community lifestyle where, where you can have people that are like-minded like you that are willing to work together, you know, because again, we can't do it all on our own. We can't, let's be real about it. So you need to have like-minded people, you know, but, but, but again, for me, I had to go through, through those challenges, dealing with certain individuals. Again, whether there was, you know, whether there's fear or whether it's hatred, what is, um, you know, jealousy, um, or what have you, you know, you know, and even for my own, my own self, maybe the most I, maybe I just wasn't ready, but, you know, hopefully as I move forward, you know, I can, I can be a, a, a doer, not a talker, you know what I'm saying, and, 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 and like I said, you know, Israel is supposed to be uh, bearing fruit no matter where the most High puts you at, you know, you're supposed to bear fruit. And, and that's that's not just uh, spiritually, but physically supposed to be able to bear fruit. So anyway, fam, I just want to share that with you right fast. Uh, you know, and I'm going to cut it there, you know. So with that being said, as usual, peace, love. Shalom.